Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and this is the third in a continuing series of lessons to show you how to use Excel form controls. In today's lesson we're going to make an Excel form interactive by using option buttons. Here are three option buttons which will control our shipping options. Option number one is ground shipment. Option number two is express. Option number three is overnight. As with check boxes and spin buttons, the key to understanding how form controls operate is to understand the concept of the link cell. So when we click with our right mouse on any of the option buttons and come over to the control tab, we see that the cell link is going to be in this cell. So that when I choose option number two, the cell link will change to the number two. Choose the option for overnight, this will change to three. All right, now that we have that information, what I want to do is turn that into a calculation. I need to be able to determine the shipping and handling charges. I've decided that I'm going to charge a flat rate per pound. I'm going to use a function that I find that most people are not familiar with. It's a very handy function called the choose function. So equals choose and we can read the description. It will choose a value or an action to perform from a list of values based on the index number. The index number is going to be the cell that is our cell link. Well, let's use tab and then let's use control A to bring up the function arguments dialog box. So the index number very simply is the cell that contains the cell link for our options. Value number one is ground shipment. What we want to do is we want to trigger the weight per pound and multiply that by a flat rate of two dollars. For value number two, which is going to be express, once again we want to point at the cell with the weight in pounds and let's multiply that by five dollars. And finally for value number three, which is going to be overnight shipment, we again point at the cell with the weight per pound and we want to charge in this case ten dollars. Now notice in the description that we could actually go up through 254 numbers or cell references. So it's a very handy uh, little function. So here we can see that at ground shipment, remember we're charging two dollars per pound, Watch what happens when we choose the option button for Express. You see how that shipping goes up and for overnight. So our cell link and the choose function enable us to calculate that value. Now remember we can also put in their text. Let me use the choose function here to actually apply a text value in here. So equals choose and once again let's use control A with the function arguments dialog box. Our index number in this case is going to be the cell that contains the cell link for the option buttons. Value number one is going to be ground. Now one of the nice things about using the function arguments dialog box is you see it automatically added double quotation marks around that. That's important. So our second one is express and option number three is going to be overnight. OK. Click OK. So now you can see how changing the option button adds interactivity and it automatically updates the two cells where we use choose. All right, let's give me one more example. Let's return to a changing loan scenario. This time, instead of actually defining how much we're going to borrow, we want to create three option buttons for the down payment. So here's the purchase price for our house, and we've used spinner buttons over here, but I'm going to use option buttons to determine how much we're actually going to borrow based upon our down payment. So I'll go up to the Developer tab on the ribbon in the Controls group. First, I'm going to draw the group box. So this is important. If you want to add the group box, do this first. So all we have to do is just simply draw a box and give it a text label. So in this case, I'm going to call this Down Payment. And now what we want to do in this group box is we want to add in three option buttons. Once again, return to insert and use the form controls, not the ActiveX controls. Here is the option button, and I'll draw my first option button. 
Now the nice thing about this is that when we select the form, not the text, let's copy it. So let's do Control C to copy, come down here, Control V to paste, Control V to paste. You see that makes it easier to have the option buttons that align up. If we want to change slightly the dimension, make sure you're not selecting the text but the button itself and use the up or down uh, arrows to control that. So let's just move this one up just slightly. Right mouse click, click on the form, move it up. Now it's time to format to actually add in a cell link. It doesn't matter which option we choose. So what we want to do is come over here and we're going to say format the control. Our cell link, the link cell, is going to be up here. It doesn't really matter as long as you determine one cell that will contain the cell link. And of course now what we want to do is we want to come through and give a better name to this. Now it does matter which order you put these text uh, or, or these option buttons in. So for our first one will be 5% down. For our second one this will be 10% down and again I'm using the edit text button. There's several ways that we can do this. Just make sure you select it 10% down. And for our third, right mouse click, edit the text and let's change this to 20% down. Alright, we're in good shape here. Now, of course, what we need to do is take advantage of this cell link. And I always like to make sure that it's active. So 5% down is option number one, 10% is option number two, 20% is option number three. Now, let's come over here and what we want to do is we want to use our choose function again. Equals choose. And let's use the function arguments dialog box, control A. So our index number is the cell that contains the cell link to the option buttons. For value number one, what we're going to do is we're going to refer to the cell with our purchase price and we're going to take a 5% discount for the 5% down. So multiply by left parentheses 1 minus uh, 0 0.05 right parentheses. All right, for value number two, once again, we point to the cell with the, I'm sorry, we point to the cell with the purchase price, multiply it by left parentheses, one minus 0 0.10 for 10% down. And finally, we're going to take 20% off of the purchase price with our down payment. Point to that cell, multiply left parentheses 1 minus 0 0.2 right parentheses and again make sure that you have the function if you see double quotation marks in here you made an error in your typing all right now let's click OK and now let's see what changes so for borrowing let's change this to 400,000 so with 5% down you see we're taking 20 20 thousand dollars off it 10% down, we take $40,000 off. 20% down, we're taking $80,000. So here we've combined spinner buttons, check boxes, and option buttons to create a nice interactive form. And let's hide this cell, which contained the uh, uh, this column, which contained the cell link for our initial formulas, and we have a completely interactive form. So this is representative of the type of tips that I offer in my series, the 50 best tips for the Office Suite, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Access. And I'll see you in the next lesson.